Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Today is Earth Day, so it's usually a good time to get people thinking about sustainability and how they can make a few small changes to lower their impact on the Earth. So today I thought it'd be fun to share with you 10 zero waste swaps that I've made in my own life, and I'm also going to be rating them based on three factors, and those are simplicity, how sustainable it is, and also how budget friendly it is. So I'm going to take you around our home right now and share with you 10 swaps that we've made in our home. Let's get started in the kitchen. So the first swap we have here are upcycled jars. These are great for storing leftovers or storing produce, um, really anything. You can also use them to um, store utensils or use them as decoration around the home. Basically they're really great for storage. Um, you can find them just by saving the jars after you've used up the product inside. So this was an old soup container, this was kombucha. What you do is you just rinse it out, peel off the label, save the lid and the jar, and you've got your own upcycled jars. And now let's get to rating these upcycled jars. So in terms of simplicity and accessibility, it's really easy to upcycle jars. So I'm gonna give this five pies out of five in terms of simplicity. Um, for budget friendliness, it's also quite budget friendly, so it I'll give it one bag of money out of five. And then for sustainability, um, it, glass is actually really difficult to recycle, so if you can give it a new life by repurposing the jar, um, it makes it more long-lasting and more sustainable. So I'm going to give that four trees out of five. So the next swap are these wax wraps. So we have a couple of different sizes here. These little ones are great for small fruits or vegetables, and then the bigger ones are also good for um, like larger leafy greens. Um, what you can do with them is to use them to replace your cling wrap. So I have some examples here for you. This one here, we've wrapped um, half of a lemon so that we can preserve it and keep using it. We also do this with avocado often. And here we've wrapped just an old piece of banana bread. And you can also use beeswax to wrap around leftovers. So say you have a bowl of leftovers, what you can do is take your beeswax wrap and put it on top of the bowl. And then just by using the warmth of your hands, it just molds the wrap around the bowl. And then it works just like cling wrap. It's really great. There you go. And now let's get to rating the beeswax wraps. So in terms of simplicity, they're super easy to use and now they're really accessible. You can buy them online. I've seen them at my local grocery store. So I'm gonna give them five pies out of five. In terms of budget friendliness, um, you do have to pay a little bit at the beginning to get these, but they do last a long time and they save a lot of plastic. So I'm gonna give them two bags of money out of five. And then for sustainability, they're a really great swap and they I haven't used plastic wrap in like two, three years. So I'm gonna give these five trees out of five. And the next swap we have for you are rags. And I have two options. We have Swedish dishcloths and then we have some upcycled t-shirt rags. And these are great swaps for paper towel in your home. So I actually have a little bit of water and I'm gonna show you how these Swedish dish cloths work because they're super absorbent and although they cost a little bit of money, they work really well. Can you see that puddle? So I'm just gonna wipe it up. Ta-da! It's so good. Um, it holds, holds a lot of water and it's super, super durable. It's made out of a plant fiber so it's compostable at the end of its life. You can just toss it in your green bin. Um, yeah, and then we have some here that are cute little Christmas designs, but I don't think we'll need to use these for a long time because this one will last for a long time. And to clean them, you can actually just toss them in your laundry. And yeah, so now let's get to rating. So I'm going to rate both of them because they're slightly different just in terms of um, which one's more cost efficient. So the Swedish dishcloth and the rag, the upcycled rag, in terms of simplicity, obviously they're really easy to use and super accessible. So five pies out of five. Um, in terms of budget, this one is a little bit more expensive, but it's actually not that expensive to buy Swedish dishcloths. They're about um, three to five dollars. Um, so this one will be 
two bags of money out of five and then this one is one bag of money out of five because you're using something that you already have and you're giving it a new life and then in terms of sustainability i'd say they're both pretty sustainable so five bag no not five bags five trees out of five next swap we have are reusable cups and reusable water bottles these are super simple, super accessible to use, and they're a really great first swap that you can make. You probably already have a reusable water bottle in your home. Um, you really don't need those single-use plastic disposable water bottles. And what you can do with these cups is you take it to your cafe, your cafeteria. Um, if you're at your office and you have a water station, just fill it up with your favorite beverage, and you can save um, the use of a disposable cup. So now we're going to rate these cups and bottles. So in terms of simplicity and accessibility, it's very easy. So I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 pies. So in terms of budget friendliness, I'm going to give it 4 bags of money out of 5. Because a lot of the times the ones that are nicer, that have a better seal, or are made with better materials are more costly. So that's why I'm giving it 4 out of 5. And in terms of how sustainable it is, I think I'm going to give it four trees out of five trees because it can be a really simple way for you to get started in sustainability and if you can stick with this habit, it's really great and it prevents a lot of disposable cups and bottles from going to waste. And the next swap I have for you are reusable utensils that you can take with you on the go for your lunches or for dinner or whenever you're out. So oftentimes you can buy cute little sets like this. This one was gifted to me. Um, from my sister. Um, but what you can also do that is a more budget friendly option is to just take utensils from your drawer and bring it with you throughout the day. And there you have a budget friendly option for reusable utensils. And now we're going to rate reusable utensils. I'm just going to rate the ones that you can bring from home because everyone can do that. Um, in terms of simplicity, it's so simple. You just have to remember to bring them with you or remember to pack them. So I'm going to give it five pies out of five. In terms of budget friendliness, super budget friendly, so one bag of money out of five. And then in terms of how sustainable it is, it's super easy and super sustainable, so I'm gonna give it five trees out of five. The next on the go swap I have for you are reusable straws. So I have two here that are made out of stainless steel, but they can also be made out of other reusable materials like glass, um, silicone, or bamboo. Um, this one here is for bubble tea and this one here is just a regular straw. So straws are a really great option for you. Um, you can refuse a straw when you're at a restaurant and use your own or just don't use a straw at all. Let's get to rating the straws. So in terms of simplicity, it's really easy. These are actually super lightweight. So even if you don't want to carry utensils around, you can start off with the straw because it's super light and doesn't take up much space in your bag. Um, I'm going to give these five pies out of five. And then in terms of budget friendliness, they're actually not too costly, maybe a couple dollars each. So I'm gonna give it one bag of money out of five. And then for how sustainable it is, um, if you remember to use it, it's really great. So I'm gonna give it four out of five trees. All right, let's keep going. So right by our doorway, we have a reusable tote full of other reusable totes. And a lot of these we've just accumulated over the years from um, when you shop and sometimes brands will give you a reuse reusable tote or from a grocery store. A lot of these are actually freebies. Reusable totes are really great for just bringing a route with you throughout your day. They're good for grocery shopping or just when you're out and about town and you're shopping. Um, and what I love about them is that they can be folded really small and then they're, re they're relatively light to keep in your bag throughout the day. So now let's get to rating our reusable totes. So in terms of simplicity, it's really easy to carry around and really accessible. So I'm going to give it five pies out of five. In terms of budget friendliness, um, depending on whether you buy it or if you got it for free, it can be relatively cheap. So I'm going to give it one bag of money out of five bags of money. And in terms of sustainability, I'm going to give it four trees out of five because it's really great to prevent um, any single-use plastic bags while you're out and about. Okay, let's head into the bathroom. So here in the bathroom, we have a bar soap, which is a great swap for liquid body wash, which usually comes in plastic bottles. You can get bar soap in cardboard boxes or just even completely unpackaged, which is really great. So let's get to rating the bar soap. So in terms of simplicity, it's really easy to use. It's super convenient. It hasn't made my um, washing routine any different. So I'm gonna give it five pies out of five. 
And then in terms of budget friendliness, it's super cheap um, depending on the type of soap you buy, of course, but it can be really cheap. So I'm gonna give it one out of five bags of money. And then in terms of sustainability, it's great because there are a lot of options and you can also get it plastic free. So I'm gonna give it five out of five trees. And the next swap we have for you, it's a relatively new swap for me, but it's a safety razor. So this is a swap for your disposable plastic razors, um, which are difficult to recycle. Um, but these ones, you can use it over time um, for a long time and all you do is you switch out the blade inside. Let's get to rating the safety razor. So in terms of simplicity, there is a bit of a learning curve to learning how to use a safety razor um, and it's not as simple as a disposable razor because there are two blades on both sides um, and it's a little bit intimidating just because it's an open blade. So I'm going to give it three pies out of five. And then in terms of how budget friendly it is, the initial investment is a lot more costly but you save money over time because you never have to change the holder and you just change the blades inside which are relatively cheap. So I'm going to give it four bags of money out of five. And in terms of sustainability, I'm going to give it five trees out of five because once you make the initial investment, you never really have to change it again. And the final swap I have for you today are reusable menstrual products. So I have two menstrual cups here and a reusable pad here. So these are probably the most intimidating but the most impactful swap that I've made in my own life um, just because it's re reduced so much disposable waste each month. Um, they can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of, but once you get the hang of it, it's really great. So now I actually have a completely zero waste period routine. And if you want to learn more about that and how I got there, you can feel free to watch this video over here. I'll link it right there. Now let's get to rating these reusable menstrual products. So in terms of simplicity, it is a little bit difficult and can be intimidating to get started with these. So it, because of that, I'm gonna give it two pies out of five for um, how easy it is. And then in terms of budget friendliness, um, it can be a bit of an investment at the beginning, but it also saves you money over time, just like the safety razor. So I'm gonna give it three bags of money out of five. So in terms of sustainability, this has been one of the most impactful swaps I've made in my own life. So because of that, I'm gonna give it five trees out of five. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips inspire you and give you some tips and tricks to kickstart your own low waste living journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and leave me any comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.